Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Wayne Metter. I'm here with Daniel Smith of Go For Green Living. We're in the greenhouse. We're talking about the aquaponic system that's here behind me. I'm going to grab the camera, follow Dan around, and let him tell you how he's running his aquaponic system on 35 watts. Inside these holding barrels is a flush valve. When it gets to a certain point up in there, there's a little siphon, a little el elbow that acts like a siphon, and they will flow into the, the two liter bottle, and then it'll flush, and the water is then flushed into the fish tanks. This is my little pump. Let's stop it for a second. It's a little 35 watt pump pond pump and go down the bottom and I'll pump it up to to these things and that's that uses 35 watts and in solar terms these batteries together uh, these are six volt batteries uh, these two batteries together are uh, 205 amp hours and if that uses one amp hour an hour See, I roughly get, if you average it out, I roughly get three days worth of use out of these batteries just from running that pump. But I've been using, uh, using it for charging phones and stuff like that, so it hasn't really worked but yet. So, <laughs> still working on my grid. And from the fish tanks, it's distributed out through, through my grow beds. So after the water comes through the fish tank, the fish tank fills up some, and then it's dispersed out through these uh, PVC pipes, a half inch PVC pipe. And you can see it's still running through there. They're still filling up the beds. Uh, and uh, under here, you can see where I have, they're all equipped with the, the T siphon. Moving her arrow around. <laughs> see, they're all under there. Mm -hmm. So every one of the beds has a T siphon. Yes. Except and for the except for the duckweed. Okay. I use these as uh, just water purifiers and and to grow the tilapia their food. Uh, of course, you've showed me lately. You gave me the idea of using some of this for uh, making compost. <laughs> and uh, because I produce so much of it that I could easily take a scoopful of this a day and compost it and I wouldn't miss it you know, because the fish, the fish, you know, they don't eat that much. Of course, I'm feeding chickens and the fish uh, uh, with it. But this this ain't no good for nothing but to purify the water. And what it, is it? It's uh, water lettuce. And it fills up so much that, see, it even pushes the plants out of the water. Uh, it compacts so much. Yeah, we used to have this in the koi pond. I've got some of it in the koi pond videos. So earlier. I'm thinking this would make a good compost. Uh, well, Excellent again. compost material, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and the last one is, this is umbrella grass, and it's uh, another water plant, and helps purify the water. If I have a pH spike, uh, uh, nitrate or uh, nitrite spike, these water plants help neutralize it pretty quickly so that I don't get a lot of damage on my plants or, or affects my fish. So that's the aquaponics system. I know it's just a real brief look at what he's doing. If you want to learn more, uh, go and follow his YouTube channel, Go For Green Living. 
But more importantly, uh, recently you were in the studio and we had a show called Sustainability in the Modern World um, with the World for Change TV. And we were talking about this whole topic, which is off-grid food production. That was one of our episodes. And the other one was uh, 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 rooting difficult plants, rooting and planting difficult to grow plants. But uh, what I'm curious to know for, for the audience, where can they find you? What's coming up over the next two months? Okay, well, uh, they can find me at uh, Ghost Green Living, all one word, all lowercase, and that's my YouTube channel. And over the next few months, we are going totally off grid. Uh, we have a lettuce harvest to make, and our, plant, our tomato grass to do. Oh, we got a lot of work to come. It's springtime, there's going to be a lot of plants, a lot of off grid. So we're going to be working on the cob house and we have a Simple Living Expo coming up where uh, we'll be teaching several classes. Uh, SimpleLiving.com. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's uh, located in Oxford, Aniston area in Alabama. Um, we're both going to be there. And uh, we're really looking forward to getting to meet some of you guys and gals if you're going to be there as well. So um, please go over and subscribe to Dan. Thanks for watching.